Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain torque voltage analogy in which I will compare mechanical system parameters with electrical system parameters. And here mechanical system will be rotational mechanical system. With mechanical system, input will be torque and with electrical system, input will be voltage, right? So here with mechanical system, input will be torque and output of this mechanical system will be angular velocity while with electrical system input will be voltage and output of electrical system will be current now i'll explain you comparison of mechanical parameter with electrical parameters here mechanical system will be rotational mechanical system right so first of all i will consider one mechanical element that is having moment of inertia j see moment of inertia that depends on shape of the body if you have a ring with mass m and radius r then moment of inertia is mass into radius square if you have a disc with radius r then moment of inertia of disc that is half m r square so that is how with different shaped body moment of inertia is different here right now consider we have one body that is having moment of inertia j and to this body let us apply torque to because of torque to with this body angular displacement is theta angular velocity is omega and angular acceleration is alpha so what is this torque torque will be moment of inertia into angular acceleration alpha so torque to is j into alpha and one should know what is alpha alpha is rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time so alpha is d omega by dt and one should know what is omega omega is rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time so d omega by dt in terms of angular displacement will be d square theta by dt square so this is the basic equation of torque right now in electrical system i will consider inductance connected with voltage source because of this voltage v current through inductor is i so what is the voltage across inductor voltage v will be l di by dt and one should know i is dq by dt so in terms of charge di by dt will be d square q by dt square so now we can have a comparison of mechanical system parameter and electrical system parameter as per torque voltage analogy here with mechanical system input is torque and with electrical system input is voltage here with mechanical system output is angular velocity and with electrical system output is current but if you observe these two differential equations then here see with single differentiation with respect to time here we have d omega by dt and here with single differentiation with respect to time we have di by dt means one can say omega is equivalent of current i here if you observe moment of inertia j so that is equivalent of inductance over here right and if you observe here we have displacement theta in double differentiation so here in double differentiation we have charge q so angular displacement is equivalent to charge q in electrical system right so that is how one can identify mechanical system to electrical system parameters but with mechanical systems there can be many other mechanical systems like here one can observe we have damper damper is having damping constant b and with this damper let us apply torque to because of torque to here we have angular displacement theta angular velocity omega and angular acceleration alpha so what is the torque associated with damper torque to is damping constant b into angular velocity omega and one should know omega is rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time 
So torque to is B into D theta by DT. Now with electrical system, I will consider resistance. So if you connect voltage source over here, then current passing through this resistance, let us consider that is I, then voltage across resistance V, that will be I into R. Here, this current I, that is rate of change of charge with respect to time. So based on these two equations, one can compare mechanical system with electrical system. Here you can observe, we have damping constant B, that is equivalent of resistance R in electrical system as per torque voltage analogy, right. Now, I will consider one more element with mechanical system where we have a spring that is having spring constant K. And with this element, let us apply torque to. So, because of torque to, here we have angular displacement theta, angular velocity omega and angular acceleration alpha. So, here what is the torque associated with this spring? So, restoring torque to that will be constant k into theta, right. And what is theta? C omega is d theta by dt. So, theta will be integration of omega with respect to time, right. Omega is d theta by dt. So, theta is integration of omega with respect to time. Now, here in electrical system, I will consider capacitor that is connected across voltage V. Because of voltage V, current passing through capacitor is I. So what is the voltage? Voltage is charge divided by capacitance C. And here charge is integration I dt. One should know, see current I is dq by dt. So what is charge? Charge is integration of current I with respect to time. So here voltage that is Q by C, that is 1 by C integration I dt, while torque is K theta, where theta is integration of omega with respect to time. So if you compare these two equations, then here with mechanical system, we have spring constant K, while with electrical system, we have reciprocal of capacitance, that is 1 by C, right. Now here there are a few basic things that you need to note down. See, force voltage analogy and torque voltage analogy both are almost identical, right. Only difference is in force voltage analogy, input is force while in torque voltage analogy, input is torque. Otherwise, comparatively parameters are same, right. One should know in linear motion we have force. And in linear motion, we have displacement x, velocity v, and acceleration alpha, right. While in angular motion, we have torque. And here we have angular displacement, angular velocity, and angular acceleration, right. Instead of mass, we have moment of inertia, j or i, that one can say. So that is how differences are there. Otherwise, force voltage analogy and torque voltage analogy, both are having equivalent comparison with mechanical and electrical parameter, right. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.